Welcome to Storytime! Once again, I'm actually, for a change, wearing makeup. Got my hair done. <laughs> First time in like six weeks or something. I'm in Hanoi, Vietnam now. Um, so I'm recording this from uh, another Asian country. Um, done with Thailand, it's over. So here's my story that I'm going to tell you um, from this spot of the world. Um, today's picture is this one. It is a signed autograph from Connor Commons. Um, it's actually, I'm actually quite curious who uh, knows him, so write down in the comments if, if he's actually somebody that you were aware who he is, because um, that's a quite interesting one. All the I Love Man people obviously know who he is, um, but I'm getting into that. So it's, it, the story is not about Connor, really, but it was like, um, this autograph was on my memory wall, um, just simply because it happened at some point and I wanted to uh, keep uh, that as a memory of the Isle of Man and especially the famous Isle of Man tourist trophy motorbike races, so the TT. Um, so a lot of you that like motorbikes will know that what the TT is. It's basically, if you consider like the Isle of Man as this tiny little country, um, it's 100 mile circumference and it has about 90,000 inhabitants and during the TT motorbike races which is a 111 year old tradition or something like that um, it's a two-week festival and there's 60,000 tourists coming to the island over those two weeks the thing is back in the days it was tourist trophy trophy so it's a lot of the tourists are actually racing um, it got more and more controlled that it's actually professional racers doing the racing um, which you know, doesn't stop a lot of the tourists to race around anyway, and uh, some of them kill themselves in the process. So it's always uh, quite a grim spectacle if people just think they can do as the the pros do. Um, so unfortunately that happens uh, once in a while. Um, and yeah, so a lot of professional racers come from all over the world to take part in these races, um, but there's a couple of local ones, and one of them is Connor Commons. He's actually from the Isle of Man, um, and he obviously knows the track really well and he's racing almost every year and there's a really interesting uh, documentary uh, and I can really recommend this one uh, it's called Closer to the Edge um, and it's not about Connor but it's about uh, Guy Martin uh, another like very famous um, motorbike racer he has a TV show in England now as well um, and in this in this documentary which is really awesome really watch it it's good <laughs> even if you don't like racing it's good um, uh, there is a very famous crash uh, that Connor Commons was involved in. It's absolutely scary and spooky. I'm not going to give you any more details. You should really watch it or just Google it or look it up on YouTube. It's uh, that he survived that one is a miracle. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk to you about the the TT and my experience with it uh, all in all. So, uh, so I was living in the Isle of Man for a total of six years, um, which brought me the fortune uh, of um, actually experiencing seven TT races. Um, the thing is then also um, that I was working for PokerStars and PokerStars is one of the main sponsors for the TT races. So it's sponsoring the, the main race, the senior race. Um, here's a fun fact on the side as well. The day of the senior race is actually a national holiday in the Isle of Man. That's how serious this whole thing is over there. Because PokerStars was uh, one of the main, probably still is one of the mo main sponsors, um, one of the sponsored riders, or the only sponsored rider uh, by PokerStars was Connor Common. So he was, uh, for a while he had had like the PokerStars hat and PokerStars stuff on it. Um, but yeah, because of that, I met Connor a few times um, in at like PokerStars activities of sorts and it was, because the island is such a small place, um, he still knew who I was if we ran into each other on the island. Not, not like he didn't know my name, but it's like still a hello. Oh, sorry, there's vacuum. I, I'll try to push through it. <laughs> um, so I got a hello or something from him um, because I, I think he knew that I'm like PokerStars person, but he never really, I think, remembered my name. Um, but yeah, so that was a pretty cool cool experience to be around that and be so close to it. I even had the very first year when I was moving to the Isle of Man in 2010. Um, that's actually when the documentary was filmed. I had access to, um, like VIP access to get close to the starting line and so on. But because it was my first back then, I didn't even appreciate what it all meant. 
Um, but all in all, it's just a, an, an absolutely amazing experience to be there. I know for a lot of people that I meet and I tell them I was living that's a, it's a dream to go to the Isle of Man to the TT races one day. And obviously you have to almost like book it two years in advance to actually get a spot and don't pay a fortune to get there. So I was quite fortunate that um, I could experience that. Um, and you have to imagine it's an actual road, it's a normal road that uh, for the rest of the year is being used as a normal road and then for these two weeks and there's another race later, um, they're being shut down and these bikes are going with like, what is it, like 300 kilometers an hour or something, they're just like racing past you on these roads that are normal, <laughs> normal roads. Um, so it's all like mind-blowing you're just going like woo, 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 all the time and just being yeah it, it's absolutely crazy and at the same time when these when these uh, races are on um there's also all kinds of other activities there's concerts there's sometimes some bigger bands coming to the island to perform there's a, a fun fair there's like beer tents and activities all around because there were all these foreigners coming over and <laughs> a lot of male foreigners so for women it's always a nice time when the tt is on um, but yeah, all this kind of entertainment springs up for those two weeks. It's just absolute craziness. Activities every day. You're just out drinking and partying every day. Um, and at some point, I was actually part of the TT Entertainment because um, I actually um, was the front singer in a band that performed during the TT um, in, a, in a bar. Um, which was, I got kicked out afterwards because I wasn't very good. <laughs> but it was it was incredible um, standing on stage and actually like being part of the TT entertainment. And I was like, hey, because there's a lot of Germans coming out. Any Germans here? And then some, some guys with mustaches, of course, were in the background. And I was like, hey, it's not because it's a lot of Germans like mustaches. Anyway, so they uh, were in the back and were like, yeah, yeah. And then I said something in German and they were like, oh, cheers. And like, so it was, <laughs> it was so much fun being part of that and um, uh, playing an integral part of, of the TT. And I know it wasn't integral. But there was a different integral part that I played. And so, you know, because of the, the races being really dangerous and because of the tourists coming over and just going mental, there were all these traffic announcements in different uh, languages. And um, so I did the one in German. I actually got paid uh, for that from the Isle of Man police. Um, and I did that two years in a row. Um, and so my voice was all over the radios and the loudspeakers and so on in German, which was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to put that uh, in the end here, uh, just as an audio uh, to, to finish this. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm not going to show any more pictures and videos of this. There's so much going on. Um, I can link to, um, I did some vlogs during the TT on my other channel. So I'm going to link that here if you want to check that. It's my private channel, so it's not the nice and sunny stuff. So you can see a little bit of stuff there. Otherwise TT is, was an amazing time. And then when I left the Isle of Man, people were, oh, you can always come back. You can stay at mine for the TT. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't have to because I saw it seven times now, and I feel like it's enough. I don't need to come back for the TT every year and, and do it all over again. I mean, it's nice, but there's other things to see and other things to do, right? I mean, what I'm doing right now, and early next year, um, I will tell you at some other point about that, but early next year, my plan is um, more to go through Eastern Europe and do like a train and bus uh, journey through Eastern Europe. So. Um, there's not going to be an Irish Open for me, there's not going to be the TT for me. Um, so two um, things that I've done for many years, um, I will drop and try and create new habits and new traditions for myself. <laughs> anyway, I think they are coming around here with the, with the vacuumer, so I, I, I wrap it up. Um, so I say bye from Hanoi. Um, I think, yes, the next one I'm going to record in a different country. So next story time um, will be up next Friday. Stay tuned. Hit, hit subscribe. Hit the little bell so that you get a notification. If a new video comes, leave some comments and like and all that. Bye! Herzlich willkommen bei der TT 2015. Die meisten schweren Unfälle geschehen in der Golden Hour, der Stunde vor Schließung der Straßen. Machen Sie sich daher rechtzeitig mit dem Weg zu Ihrem Ziel vertraut, planen Sie genügend Zeit ein und achten Sie auf möglichst große Sichtbarkeit. Bitte denken Sie auf allen Straßen daran, vernünftig und links zu fahren. Diese Nachricht wurde Ihnen präsentiert vom Police Road Safety Team. Weitere Informationen gibt es auf Twitter, at tweetbeat.iom.